Hi everyone, it's Gavin here and this is the second in my Retron 5 compatibility videos. Uh, the first one, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, if you don't know what I'm doing, basically I'm going to try and play through all my games that, can, that work on the Retron 5 and to make sure that they actually do run properly, that the saves work and that you can restore the saves to the game cart as well. Um, now the first one I'm going to talk about in this video is this, it's trucks on the Mega Drive. This is the PAL version. Um, the game runs fine, however the audio seems a little bit off. There's like a, a bit of an over bass, a bit too much bass being put into the audio, uh, which I don't, didn't notice when I was playing the game on a normal Mega Drive compared to this. Um, it did kind of seem a little bit distracting, but obviously you can just turn the audio down and that should solve it. Um, the next two games are these, these are Donkey Kong Country 2 and Donkey Kong Country 3 on the Super Nintendo. Um, both games work, the games run, they can import the saves from the cartridge, you can create, you can update the save to the Retro 5, um, you know, save the progress, but they uh, they have a problem with restoring the game save back to the cart. Both of them, uh, when you restore the save, it doesn't actually update the cart. Um, these are both the power version, right? Um, so your progress isn't you know, copied back to the cart. So if you move the cart to another to a snares on another retro five without moving the save data, um, you obviously end up in a position where you're back where you were originally. Now the next game is this. This is the Info Genius Personal Organizer with Phone Book. Um, this game does work with Retron 5. It will run. It will import your save from the cartridge, and it will also update the data on the Retron 5 when you save information. Um, however, I had a bit of a, a weird thing with the, with this one. Um, the first time I saved the data back to the cartridge, it worked fine. The second time, though, it actually corrupted the data on the cartridge. So when I went and actually tested the cartridge out on a, on a normal Game Boy, um, the information was all corrupted. Um, but then when I tried writing it writing data back from the Retron 5 back to the cartridge again and tried it again the other time, that worked as well. So I think it's a bit hit or miss for some reason. Maybe I did something to interrupt it or maybe there's a, a small glitch with the way it handles the data sometimes. Um, so typically this does work. But obviously once you do restore the data to the cartridge, even it does corrupt the cartridge, um, it's still on the Retron 5 so you can either wait for the f updates to the firmware to fix that or just try and restore it again which seemed to work with this one. Now the last compatibility bug for this video is actually uh, for the entire system range. It's for Super Nintendo games, like Donkey Kong Country 3. Um, even though the system is able to read the games, and once it has read in and let you play it, um, I want to say you don't go into the option and reset the game, like if you get defeated by a boss, um, don't go and reset the game. The reason why if you reset the game and it starts back up, it starts up without loading in the game save. Um, so the game saves still on the on the on the Retro 5 or in the SD card. It's just not being loaded up into the game, and there's no way of actually restoring it apart from going to either a save state, um, which has already had that save data loaded into it, or by actually re-importing the data from the cartridge, um, which you may lose progress that you've made uh, after importing in the first place. Um, I have made Hyperkin aware of this, um, again, same with all the stuff, the problems we've had, so hopefully they're going to um, look to release firmware to resolve these over time, but as I say, um, especially with Super Nintendo, I haven't had a problem with Game Boy games. Now the last incompatibility issue I'll talk about is actually for Super Nintendo games, I'll not talk country, country free because it's the same, uh, any Super Nintendo game that has a battery save in it, there seems to be a problem with them, all the ones I've tried seem to have the same problem, um, that when you're Go playing the game. If you go in and say reset, go to the menu system and pick the reset option. Um, when the game loads back up and come starts back up, it actually doesn't load the save data that's on the Retro on Five. Um, so it comes up and, and appears as if the game has erased all you know, has erased all your save and that. The save data is still on the Retro on Five. There's just no way of retrieving it within the game. Um, the only solution you've got is if you made any uh, save states beforehand, you can go back to those or re-importing the save data from the uh, cart itself. Um, hopefully Retro 5 will bring out a solution for all these issues that I've mentioned in later firmwares, but obviously yeah, they, I've made them aware, just take time for them to fix that one out. Now the last thing I'll talk about is actually a good, is actually a bit good news, something that has been fixed with the 1.5 um, firmware release. Um, I heard a lot of people complaining that uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2 on the Super Nintendo wasn't working. Um, and basically the game would start and then go to a black screen and wouldn't proceed. Um, I'd like to report that with the 1.5 firmware it's worked fine, I had no problems with it, played through it, audio was fine, graphics were fine, um, so that's now working, so if that was one of the games you were hoping to get fixed at some point, 
that's now fixed. Um, so that's the last one of this, this video. Um, I'm going to try and carry on and get some more of my games tested and hopefully at some point get through them all. Um, once I am able to let you know there's any problems, I'll make some more videos. As I said, trying to do these once every couple of weeks, um, just so I have time to play through games and obviously find ones that don't work. Uh, and again, any new firmware releases get brought out, I'll let you know if uh, any of the bugs get fixed. Alright, see ya. Bye.